Here is my pretty bush. After the bees indulge themselves with my lavender plant here, I'm proceeding to dry some flowers, the remainders of my lavender harvest. So I cut some trims and I left them long uh, on the stem so I can just resize them later. And I'm creating bundles of six, so I'm carefully selecting them and uh, making sure that the stem is as straight as possible. And in case they are crooked or bended as they grow uh, uh, with different shapes, I try to uh, straighten them out. And what it seems to work for me is the tiny little rubber bands from the, uh, the groomers or sometimes even the dentist rubber bands. They do work uh, perfectly for this project. And I do attach them with the rubber bands because when they dry, they start getting uh, smaller and um, sometimes they fall from the, the twine or the thread that you, uh, you know, I'm wrapping them. So it seems to work best for me. And I just leave the rubber band until they are dry and then I just cut them out and or separate them and um, do my final arrangements. Um, as you can see, uh, they are small bundles, like I mentioned before, of six and carefully putting the rubber band around and then just uh, sliding them to the middle section. You can create bundles of many, uh, you know, 12 or 24. It just seems to work best for me so they can dry um, each individually with um, at best. So they seem to air a lot better for me in the area that I have them. So I always put them in a, nar in a dark separate area after I'm done to dry them upside down so you will see that at the end of the video also to give you some ideas and you can just adjust the customize as you you know you have um your situation in the, at home or there is always something relaxing um when you work with live flowers when you work with nature and you know do crafts or any decorations from flowers so you will absorb those healing properties if you believe in that <laughs> which I do um, so for me this is relaxing so I once that my lavender bush is finished with his um, flowering uh, season I just go and get as much as I can from these flowers this pretty one so I can dry them and then I can use them in projects later on um, Sometimes I have a specific project in mind and other times I just uh, store them in a, in a container away from sunlight and uh, they, will, they will preserve for quite some time. I try to make a small bundles at a time. You will also see when you are working in this project and uh, you're putting the bundles together that you um, have a whole bunch of tiny itty bitty seeds in there. You can save those and put them in an envelope and then plant them at your, you know, leisure whenever you are ready to get more, um, more bushes around your area. <laughs> so, but yeah, they release, I always put a, trying to put a white cloth and a, as a catcher and uh, you will see a whole bunch of tiny little speckles there. And those are the tiny itty bitty seeds that you can save them for future and, you know, and trying to start them from seeds. Uh, your new lavender bushes so I will be resizing the stems um, after I'm done right now they look uneven so um, I'm not worry about that I'm just trying to make sure that the uh, the lavender stems are pretty much the fur fair uh, size each other and uh, the ones that they get damaged was I get this I discard them I actually don't throw them away I use them in my uh, potpourri, my home potpourri. I just simmer some water and put it on with um, some other herbs like rosemary and some slices of lime and your home will smell really, really nice and, and soothing. So you will see that at the end of the video too. So don't, don't discard anything else. Don't put it in the trash or the compost, use them. You will be happy and glad that you did. It is pretty tempting to cut a lot of uh, the lavender stems at once and uh, 
and then if you get busy or so those steams will go to waste because they will wilt on your basket or your container so just trying to do take from the plant what you need and then just work on those bundles dry them up put them hang them and everything and uh and then you can always go back and uh, it's best before the first irrigation or at the middle of the day it just depends on your you know the area that you're living for me it's easier living in the california area so it's easier for me to get them in the morning because there is no much humidity <laughs> but they're so beautiful look at that those seeds in there and um I don't know, it just cheer, it, it, it cheers me up and I'm sure that you will get pleasure by drying your own flowers. And you can use the same process in any other flowers that you have in your garden. doesn't have to say, uh, you know, be specifically for lavender. Now I am using the natural twine and this is a uh, core that I have around, it's natural. And you can use cotton or any other uh, natural thread that you may have uh, in your supplies. And this one is pretty thick for the small bundles that I had put together. So I'm taking it apart and I'm just unraveling and several uh, strings of the uh, sizzle will come through. I wrap them a couple times around and then I just put a little knot in there. Perhaps it's not necessary, with the only with the rubber band will be enough. I just like to cover the rubber band and just, I don't know, it just gives him a little bit more country home feeling. I, I liked it. You can see there the seeds that I was talking to you earlier. So tiny little speckles, those are the lavender seeds. Remember to subscribe to our channel if um, you like what you're you know seeing, if you are enjoying this uh, video and let me know what uh, Anything else that you may want uh, me to explain or, or teach, uh, I will be more than happy to put it into, into a video for you to enjoy. If you have any questions, also let me know. You are free to, you know, feel free, feel free to email me or, uh, you know, send me a text. Share this video, be kind, share goodness, and um, I hope you enjoy. Like I said before, I don't... Um, waste anything so after the bundles are made i resize them i just put the even edges and the final thing is wrapping the um, thin wire it doesn't have to be too long um, and this is just so it can hook so it can tie into the hook it can be a co hanger or any um, uh, wooden doll that you may have this is like a little quilt crafting quilt display that I had around and I just hang them in there put every single one in there and I do reuse the wire so that way you are helping the planet recycling and repurposing and those three means they go into my potpourri pot which is already boiling with some slices of lemon and rosemary and um, I just add the extra clippings of the lavender and your home will smell lovely. Enjoy.